Hey guys, Teal Games here, and welcome back to episode 1 of season 5 on the Deals Gap server. And a lot of you who are relatively new on my channel probably don't know what the Deals Gap server is. Of course, I have the Deals Gap PvP server, which is public and open to anybody. But the original Deals Gap server is vanilla. It's based around Minecraft, and it's private for YouTubers and some other friends of mine. So, uh, you can apply to be whitelisted on the Deals Gap server. There's a lot of requirements for it, though, obviously, because it is a whitelisted vanilla server. And I have to make sure that I only let good people in. But you can apply for that in the description. And I'm going to be getting going here today, trying to make a house, um, get a decent way away from spawn, do a little bit of building, and maybe gather some basic materials for survival. So, let's go ahead and get out of F1 mode here. You can see we got four other people on right now, including McKay, like USI Assassin, and Toonie Platoon. I'm going to eat some bread here. All right, and it might be wise to wait for day, but I'm not going to do that because I'm just a pro. I don't even need to wait for day. And you might notice that my voice sounds a little weird. That's because I have felt sick for like the past three days. Uh, yesterday I had to leave school at like 9 p.m. because I was feeling so sick. And that really sucked. Um, I had a fever of about 100, so I just wasn't feeling good. But I am, I'm getting over it. I feel pretty good now. And hopefully I'll be able to record for at least a decent amount of time for you guys without having to take a break to cough a bunch of times or sneeze. I feel a cough coming on right as I say that. Oh no. Oh no. Let me mute my mic. Alright, there we go. Get that out of my system early on in the recording. Wow, I got back in just in time for a creeper to almost blow behind me. Uh, we got to make a crafting bench. Let's see, somebody's been down there already. So we should start going at more of a diagonal angle because people tend to branch out. Um, in like straight directions from the spawn, so I'm gonna go diagonal this way, and hopefully that'll put me really far away from everybody else's structures, because in this server, uh, it's it's meant to give people space to build. Um, but you, you can journey around and enjoy other people's builds as well, but it's meant to be a server for some collaborative work, like on the spawn town, and then it gives everybody a good space to build in the SMP environment, where you can record. Um, do dual comms with everybody, so this is it's a fun place to be. And, uh, and the reason I haven't really recorded on here in a in a long time is because I just didn't have the drive to do it. I wasn't feeling it. I was feeling more of the PvP. It gave me a, a big break from the vanilla stuff that I'd been doing for the longest time uh, because I just got into PvP over the summer. And a lot of you are probably subscribed for PvP. I hope you don't mind seeing this side of things. Because this is, it's it's like a completely different element from uh, what you've probably gotten used to, to see me doing. I don't even know if what I just said made sense, but basically, you're going to think I'm out of my element, but I'm really not. This is this is how I got my start. It's doing vanilla stuff like this. And why did I just make this boat? Um, <laughs> the land's right there. I guess I'll go over this way. you got to watch out for those freaking lily pads. Those things will destroy your boat. There's multiple squids here. There's a lot of squids. What the heck? So many squids. And it seems like boat steering has been updated in 1.7. It works really well now. This is good. I like this. Alright. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Don't. Oh, ugh. Okay. It's nice now. Oh, you can... What the heck? Holy crap, does that actually make you go faster? I can't tell, but you can you can sprint in a boat now. Oh, dang it. <laughs> oh, well, we can make another one. And we have one of these biomes here. This is my first experience with vanilla 1.7. So this is, this is a savanna. 
and I believe these are acacia trees. So you guys are going to be experiencing my first real play in 1.7, because I, um, yeah, this is acacia. I completely avoided any information about 1.7 that I possibly could. Uh, I didn't watch any snapshot videos. Um, I didn't learn about the new biomes or anything like that. I don't know what they're called, except for the uh, the Mesa, because everybody knows what that one's called. But I basically avoided all the news I could, which is kind of cool, because now I get to experience all this stuff on camera, which is neat. And we got some sugar cane there. I'm going to grab that. There we go. Okay, and I think I should probably grab some saplings from this, uh, because I'm going to want it later. I might get some tools going while I'm here as well, just to get me started. I hope to keep this season of deals gap going for a long time, because 1.7 is a good update to do it in. Uh, it should be pretty entertaining. You guys can let me know what you think of that. Uh, I could try to do more dual comms on the server if you're interested. But uh, deals gap was for a long time, like several months over last summer. Uh, it was my most popular series. I was getting like 400 views a video on that, so that was pretty good. People really seemed to enjoy it. And I enjoyed it as well, so... I hope I can find the same enjoyment now that I did then. There we go. There's some acacia saplings. Alright, eat some more bread. I got this bread from a community farm at Spawn, which somebody started. That's really cool. That's the community that we're dealing with. The server just went up about a week ago, and people are already trying to assist the community, so that's awesome. Puts that right there. Okay, it should be noted that I'm using a new mouse. So if you think I'm acting like a fool with my mouse, it's probably because I am, and I don't really know what I'm doing with it yet. It's a Logitech G600, and it's all like the Razer Naga in that it has... 12 buttons on the left side that you can click with your thumb. You can assign those to macros or whatever key you want. And um, I have, uh, it also has a ring click. So unlike a standard mouse where you have, why am I mining iron with a wood pick? That's just dumb. But unlike a standard mouse where you have two click, two main click buttons, you have a right click and a left click. You have a right click, a left click, and a middle click. So you can click with your middle finger. And I think, or not your middle finger, your um, your ring finger. And that's just, it's really cool. I love it. I think that's a fantastic feature. And I don't know why more gaming mice aren't employing that. Because once you get used to it, it's really cool. I actually have my sprint assigned to, uh, to that. So I find it super useful. And if, uh, if you're into MMOs or you just feel like you want to have more buttons accessible to your right hand so you don't have to move your fingers or your your left hand away from WAS and D, then the G600 is a good mouse to consider. It has 8200 DPI if you're crazy enough to play at that. I only play at 5000. Um, but I'm working my way up. Maybe at some point I'll be able to play at that. But that's, that's a tough goal to accomplish. But anyway, I think the ring click is just a fantastic idea. The only problem I have with it is sometimes I'll be trying to right click to say place a block and I'll actually be using my ring click, which is just making me sprint, so... Uh, you'll be confused for a while, like I am, because I just got the mouse about six hours ago. But I think after that period, you'll get warmed up to it, and you will like it a lot. I'm already starting to. Like I said, I've only had it for six hours or so now. <clears throat> I even told everybody in the Deals Gap group chat that I thought yeah, it was probably the best mouse available at this point. Just because of all the features it has, all that you can do with the software, uh, all the buttons, the ring click, it's just really nice. Is, is the sprint making me go faster? I can't even tell. Let's press F3 and check. Hmm. Let's, let's go just straight this way. See if it changes anything. Turn you stupid butt. Okay. All right, so we're at top speed now. I think we're going at about three meters per second. It's, it's hard to tell. I don't actually think it's speeding us up, though. Uh, but we'll keep it just in case, because you, you guys will probably be mad at me if it is speeding me up and I'm not using it, so we'll do that. Let's see, is that another savanna? Yeah, I believe so. 
I know there's another new type of tree, which is like four thick. I'm not sure what that's called. But I know there is another type of tree. I know about the mesa. I know about... There's uh, there's one which is like a hanging forest, and I think that's pretty cool. And i got to mute, uh, mute my mic again. Sorry about that. I had to do a few more coughs. It's all good now. Let's see. Should I continue... I'm going to continue on that way because I want to get really war far away from spawn. And then we'll get a base set up. Alright. Is there a pass through there? Or... No, it doesn't look like there is. Okay. And sugarcane now has biome colors. And I think it's just absolutely disgusting. So that, that shouldn't exist. Slow down, Bodie. Slow down. Don't want you to die. Don't hit land, don't hit land, don't hit land. Stop. Why can't I break you? Can you only break it when you're outside of it? Oh, that's pretty annoying. Why is that a thing? Okay. Oh, I gotta collapse this. Let's see. We got coal and iron here. I gotta get this first. And then we'll go ahead and collapse that sand that's up there. Because it will be fun. I've got enough iron to make myself a pickaxe and sword, so that's good. And I'm probably going to get back into the prank wars at some point, because that's uh, part of this server. I know it hasn't really been a big deal recently. But, uh, well, you guys wouldn't even know about that, because a lot of you, I'd say about 2,500 of you, don't even know about this server. So, uh, there's there's prank wars that go on. It's pretty fun. I used to be really involved in that. I did some pretty good pranks. And I want to get back into that because I think those will be some really good videos that everybody can enjoy. Let's see. I wonder if we're going to get a village or anything in here. Maybe a temple. It would be sweet if I could get a temple with some demonods in it. <clears throat> there was actually a temple at spawn, which I believe uh, somebody somebody raided. I'm not sure what's, uh, what that had in it. But usually temples tend to have pretty good stuff. I don't know... If that's always by chance, or if uh, it, they're set up to always have some decent loot in them. But of course they've always got four chests in them, so your chance of getting something good are fairly decent. Let's grab some pumpkins. Oh, and we got some cows over there too, that's good. Let's make a sword real quick. Don't need to make another crafting table. Already got the one, don't need more. Ah, <coughs> oh, excuse me. That probably just came out super loud. Very sorry, very sorry. Sometimes you just can't hold it back. Alright, we got cows. We got white flowers. I don't know what those are called. Cow tipper. Feel another cough. God dang it. Okay, I'm sorry about that, but that's just... One of the things you got to deal with if you want me to record when I'm sick and get the videos out to you guys. And I do want to record, so that's why I'm making the effort to do so. To overcome the uh, the terribleness that is a cold. God, stop running. Let me do some recording. Only seven leather? Pathetic. You better give me leather. Two leather. Or not. Loser. You didn't even have any leather to give. What a nub. Okay. Let's head through this forest. If I found the mesa, I would just be so happy. But I don't think that's going to happen. Because they're very rare. But if it did, I would be happy. Okay, it looks like that's just a river. But it might, yeah, that goes back into an ocean. And travel by ocean is definitely easier than travel by land when you're just trying to cover a, uh, a large distance. At some point in some future episode, I will be going on a Mesa adventure. Hello. Hey, Deal, what do you want the town spawn to look like? Um, pretty full. It's a good answer. Good quality answer. Totally not sarcastic or stupid or anything. Just needs to be full of pretty. 
Alright, let's keep heading on this way. And it looks like uh, the rendering has been changed a lot in the snapshot. Because uh, I'm not really, like, before in 1.7.2, I'm on 13W49A now. But in 1.7.2, basically you would see world holes and you would get to them. And as soon as you, like, hit the edge of the chunk, then it would load up. Now everything is just loading up in real time while you're going along. And my FPS is still fine. I'm recording with Fraps, which is limiting my FPS to 60. Uh, it's, uh, and I'm not having any issues with chunk loading, which is weird, but also kind of good because I'm a YouTuber and Fraps tends to screw up uh, chunk loading. Okay. We've hit another thing of land, it looks like, unless this is a river. Do we have a river? Oh, looks like we can go straight through. That's pretty cool. Let's go this way for some adventure. Boat steering is so good. I love it. Gosh. <laughs> you know how I was just saying I love that boat steering? I hate it now. No, I'm kidding. It is actually pretty good. But it seems like the detection of walls is not very good. Okay. <laughs> Sprint. How about acacia wood and dark oak with stone bricks? <laughs> Build with whatever. Just make it look nice. Nothing specific. Specify. Specify. <laughs> that was some nice spelling there. You guys are probably wondering why you are not hearing the rap tap tap of my mechanical keyboard. And that's because I'm now using Audacity to edit all of my audio. So it takes a, a good bit longer to edit videos now because Audacity doesn't have very good encoding with my CPU. Like the, the um, times to import and then export audio from a video through Audacity is really slow for me. And I'm, gosh, I'm not used to that because I have uh, an 8 core CPU overclocked to 5.2 and it, my, my CPU is just a beast. Uh, but it does not like Audacity. Or Audacity doesn't like my CPU, one of the two. <clears throat> so, uh, that's rather annoying, but I am going to continue doing it because I think it greatly increases the quality of my videos and allows me to use my sweet new keyboard, so. Just know, I'm putting in some extra time for you guys. You're welcome. Right, let's pull right up here. Let me out. Oh yeah, I gotta press shift. There we go. All right, crap, I gotta cough again. No. All right, all is well, all is well. Okay. And I just received a text, what the heck did I just hit? I probably just ran into a cactus because I'm attempting to look at my phone. All right. Uh, I would not normally be looking at my phone during a recording but um, uh, it's it's an event that I might have maybe been going to tonight, but it got snowed out because there's actually quite a bit of snow in Cincinnati here. Uh, I think we're it's been snowing for maybe four hours now, maybe even less than that. We've already got like two and a half inches of buildup, so that's a lot of snow for that amount of time. All right. Okay, so I just read that. I may uh, take a break for a little bit here. I'm not going to like cut the recording or any... Or, well, I am going to cut the recording, but I'm not ending the episode. I'm sorry, this is... I'm being very unsmooth right now because I had to look at my phone. Um, but I might go hang out with a friend for a bit, so... But I don't know. It might also be bad because I'm sick and we would be outside. So that could just be a stupid idea. All right. Lava pools everywhere. What is up with these lava pools? Lava pools, lava pools. Do whatever lo a lava pools do. <laughs> All right. That's enough terrible singing for this week. 
All right, I want to find a cool biome to set up shop in. Definitely don't want to do it in a desert, because deserts are just nasty. And they spawn, like, the most mobs of anything, so... I don't think it would be wise to set up in a desert. I'd like to find another savanna and maybe set up there because it seemed like it was a cool biome, like with all the colors. And it was also fairly flat, so that would give me a lot of room to build. But we'll we'll keep looking for a little bit. Uh, I would be happy in a plains. I don't really want to do a woods because woods always require you to clear a lot of terrain, which is annoying. Or a lot of uh, a lot of tree. And I need a fern eye. So let's just go ahead and dig down here. I don't think I'm really in danger of... Let's, let's put that right there. <laughs> there we go. Not in danger of hitting lava at this level. At least I think not. There we go. Let's get the crafting table. Boom. Do, do, do. Okay, and we'll smelt us up. Eight of those. Okay. Now we can eat. Delicious. Delicious steak. Because I want to be able to sprint. Not being able to sprint is so annoying. I don't know how we lived with that back in 1.7 beta. And yes, I actually was playing in 1.7 beta. I was playing uh, at the end of beta 1.2. So I've been playing for a long time. I don't know when exactly. That was probably like mid-2010, maybe? So... I've stuck with this game for a long time, and I'm still enjoying it. Just be, there's there's so much to do, uh, and you can do so many different styles of play in Minecraft. It just it doesn't get old to me because I know when I find one thing that I'm not really enjoying anymore, like how I took a long break from vanilla and went to PvP, I can just go find something else to do. Like heck, I could spend weeks just playing mini games on Shopbo or something like that because there's there's just so much you can do with the variation in this game. And that also, it, like, it brings up the point, why do people play Minecraft Xbox? It's, it's a crappy version of vanilla with no other options for, for game types. So, I don't understand Minecraft Xbox. Pretty dumb, in my opinion. Anyway. Let's get off of that. And by off of that, I mean off that topic, because... You guys probably don't want to listen to me drone on about how Minecraft Xbox sucks, even though it does. Give me you. You Acacia. That looks gross, so I'm going to fix this. Hey, bad jumble. Nope. Oh, God. There we go. Get back. Back, I say. I just punted that guy. Uh, okay, don't ask me why I did that. I don't know. I'm super OCD in some situations when it comes to this game. And that looks really cool up there. I'm going to have to check that out. There we go. Somebody's going to say grats, bro, in the chat. Maybe. <laughs> Those achievements are so annoying. Much achievements. Yeah, I don't know why they uh, they thought it was necessary to broadcast achievements to the entire server. Because the achievements in this game suck. They they don't do anything. They reset every time you change your client. They're really dumb. So, I don't even think they should be in the game. There should be maybe a couple that would broadcast globally, like... Uh, I guess they could they could keep them all uh, restricted to the client, and then broadcast globally when somebody say kills the wither or kills the dragon. Important stuff like that, not stuff like killing your first monster. That's something that every single person does, or or taking inventory. That's just stupid. On popular servers, if they don't have that disabled, that would be so annoying. So, yeah, I I don't think that's. Smart thing to do at all. And it looks like we got a plains right up here. So maybe that will be the zone where we build. Okay. 
let's check this out make sure we have a nice flat area to build in and if there's a savanna oh let's see there is a savanna there is there is I haven't even seen a Shep yet yes I said Shep on purpose I know it's sheep you don't need to comment about it <laughs> <clears throat> oh shoot, I almost jumped right into this ravine. That would have killed me. Probably. That lava's spreading. Could jump down there and check it out. I'm tempted to. Oh shoot, you're not you're not firing me into that ravine. No. No, sir. I got cows galore, but no shep. Okay, so we got some regular trees mixed in with the acacia, which is sort of weird. Um, oh, there's she found shep. Okay, so we'll kill those guys, get us some wool, make a bed, sleep real quick, and then we'll do a little bit of caving. That's a one hit? I didn't know that. Maybe if you crit? Huh. Pretty sure I killed that first sheep in one hit. I need to cough again. Okay. All is well. Put that down. And I'm going to do that. I don't like this wood. It's like gross and orange. Okay. So let's put this down like right here for now. Oh. Bad grass. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I didn't even see him. Alright. I don't know if they're going to sleep or not. So this Reed has bed. Okay, I guess we're not sleeping. Alright, that's fine. See the heck? I don't think McKay is in. It annoys me that you can't pull up the tab list when you're in a bed, but whatever. All right, so it looks like we're not gonna get day. Oh. <laughs> Um, and again. <clears throat> there we go. Okay, so we got daytime. Um, let's go ahead and put a bunch of our stuff in a chest over here. Hello, Enderman. I'm going to look at you. Because it doesn't matter if I die right now. Look at me. Look at me. Fear me. Fear me, you loser. Why aren't you coming after me? Come here. Why? Oh my god. Did they change the, like, Enderman logic? They just teleported away from me. What the heck? Alright. Yeah, that's really weird with the Endermen. They just run away. This is a savanna, right? This thing that I'm in. This is a plains, I know. But this is a savanna. Alright. So let's get a chest going. Where is my bed? Where'd I put it? Oh, there it is. You lose it in the grass, because there's just so much grass for no apparent reason. Um, but let's make a chest here. There we go. Put a bunch of stuff in it. 
Okay, let's see. I can get rid of all of that. I feel like I should get myself some iron gear, but we're just uh actually yeah, let's let's go ahead and get an iron pick going real quick. Piece of coal. Okay. So We'll get an iron pick, and maybe an iron sword as well. And I should probably make a shovel. At least a stone one. For now. Okay. And I don't need this with me. Crap, I gotta go off. Alright. Oh, gosh. I feel terrible. I hate it when you have to cough, and you need to hold it back. It just makes it... It makes it really hard to talk, and it makes you feel absolutely awful, so... I don't know, I, I could probably hold back a cough for a decent amount of time, but when it when you get a cough, you get a cough, you know? So... Yeah, I had to cough. Alright. I acquired hardware. Sweet. Let's make one of these guys. We'll do that, and then let's get another... And make a sword. There we go. What am I doing? There we go. Okay, so let's get rolling here. Plenty of cows to kill. I'm actually going to kill some of these cows so that I can save the meat for later. Because I don't want them to, de to despawn while I'm gone. I will regret that. Good source of leather, too. Well, the only source of leather, but this amount of cows is a good source of leather. There we go. Okay, so I just got ten leather. That's pretty sweet. And I one-hit kill. Yeah, I can one-hit kill with a crit, so I better be doing that. Save myself a uh, sword durability per cow. Nope, I didn't crit. Come here. There we go. And we get a cow right over there by my bed. Stay away from my sleeping area, cow. That's right. Got three levels from killing cows. <laughs> Alright, and we're already up to 21 leather, which is pretty sweet. Because you only need 45 to, uh, to do all the bookshelves. Now let's go ahead over to that ravine. And maybe do a little caving, if we can find a cave down there. And there are so many cows. Hello. What's wrong with you? Got anything good in here? No. Dang it, I wanted Diminods. <laughs> okay. So, where was that ravine? I don't know. <clears throat> Is that it right over there? That's gotta be it. Let's head over. This is like a tiny ravine, a really crappy one. Okay, and on this server, I'm going to be wanting to do some really cool builds, and for that, I'm going to need to find a mesa, because for the amount of uh, stained clay I'm going to need, a mesa is going to be necessary. So, crap, I just ate second to last piece of pork, or my, my yeah, my second to last piece. If I drop down here, oh god. Okay, we got an abandoned mine shaft right off the bat, which is pretty cool. Right off the bat, <laughs> there's a bat right here. <laughs> okay, so let's grab this iron because I still very much need iron, obviously. Got lava flowing around here. If I can find a chest with some diamonds in it, I would just be flattered, knowing how much the game loves me. But my luck, I don't think is that good, so. <laughs> Alright. Oh, hello. If I get a diamond. If I get a diamond. Oh, alright. Oh, a saddle, sweet. And I got both pumpkin and melon seeds. Alright. 
Can't believe I got a saddle already. That's pretty sweet. So, as soon as I see a horse, I will be able to get it. Which is awesome. Because I live right next to a plains, and hopefully some horses will be spawning there soon. Okay. Unless the horse spawning mechanics changed in some way that I'm not aware of. How is this even possible? Um, there is no sunlight down here. That plant does not deserve to be alive, which is why I will kill it. Ha. Loser. Alright, will I be finding any more minecarts? Most likely not. Hello, Skelebob. You walk around there. I got an iron sword. I'm ready to fight. Ow. Get in the lava. Sweet kill there. Done so well. Just beautiful. What level am I at? I'm only at level uh, 34, so there's no chance of finding like natural diamonds here. <clears throat> so I don't want to. I want to try to stay in the mine shaft so that I can find more minecart chests and maybe get some horse armor or something like that. Um. Okay, yeah, this is what I want to do, but I also want to try to find natural diamonds. So this this downward path is a good one to take. Alright, sorry I'm not lighting anything up, I just don't have any coal. Otherwise, I would be lighting everything up. Freaking rail. I want that. Get right there. <laughs> if I wanted rail, I will come back and you know, mine it some other time. I don't want it now. Getting a lot of iron, though. Man. Already 31 iron, sweet. Okay, plus whatever I had left over at base. Nothing down that way. Suspended gravel. Interesting. Okay, I hear spitters. Which is not good. Where are they? These spitters probably will take me out. I gotta get to another section of the tunnel. I hear a skelly. I wanna be where that skelly is, not where the spitters are. They're right around here. <clears throat> where are you, stupid spitters? Oh my gosh, where are they? They have to be right around here, don't they? These have got to be cave spiders, just judging on the like the frequency that the noise is happening. The heck, where are they? I guess it could be a natural, like a, a regular spider spawner, which would be pretty cool. But regular spiders don't really make very good grinders, so that would also not be very good. The type of spawner I would want most would be creeper, but those, unfortunately, don't exist. I hear or skeletons off this way. Just doing a terrible job of using echolocation here. I hear the skeleton making his bone noises over here. Come on. Okay, you know what? We're heading back. I'm not finding anything. We got iron. That's good. And we got some coal. Sweet. I'm in mine. Not my bed. A mine mine. <laughs> In my floating bed. <laughs> Alright. So, after this, I think I'm going to go ahead and head back to base. And then we'll probably call it an episode, because I've done a decent amount of stuff for this session. 
I got a lot accomplished. I found a place to set up. So I think we're we're pretty well off for our first episode. And I got a saddle, which is sweet. I would not have expected that at all. So I'm glad to have found that. Unless I find something that really needs checking out on the way. What the? Oh. <laughs> that torch just decided to actually start lighting things. Fun. It scared the crap out of me. I thought a zombie was trying to place lava behind me or something. Let's see. Let's hit this real quick and just see what's going on. Alright, so nothing down that way. That's disappointing. And I think I'll maybe be able to find my way back up. I don't know. If not, I will use my legendary dig a hole straight up and build your way up tactic. Okay. <clears throat> oh, we're already back in the ravine. Sweet. Nice, nice. I'm getting shot at. Not cool. Don't know where from. Alright, and that's, it's weird how the ravine got partially covered like that. It's like it's half underground and half not. And there's a cave system running off of here as well. So there's a lot to check out here. So this is a cool spot. And we'll probably be doing some more work here next episode. Alright, put a block right there. Oh, what the heck? Oh, shoot. <laughs> okay. Okay, so let's just get out of this real quick. All right. There we go. All right, and that'll make an easy path down for next time. Shoot. Oh, what the heck? I just took a bullet. Yes. <laughs> Wait, did I just say his? Why did I type his? I meant to say yes, and I typed his. That was professional. I do say so myself. Alright, so, hope you guys enjoyed this first episode of Deals Gap in a long time. This was episode 1 of season 5. I hope you will all enjoy the series and I hope you'll watch all the videos in it. But, until next time, I'll be seeing you guys later. Where's There it is. I overshot it. I'll be seeing you guys later. Deal Games, signing out.